Welcome back, everybody, to Investor News. I'm Peter Clausy. Today, we're back with Nano One trading on the TSX Big Board. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm great, Peter. Fantastic to be here. Thank you. Dan Bladell, CEO. And look at all the shiny material behind you. This is your lab, right? That's actually, a, yeah, this is a spray dryer. So uh, when uh, when the material comes out of the one pot, which you can kind of see over here if the camera moves a little bit. That's kind of a, a, a reactor that we use in the uh, in the lab for sort of bench scale reactions up to kilograms right. uh, of material. Uh, it then gets fed into a spray dryer where we uh, where it's dried into a powder uh, before it's uh, put into a furnace, which we'll see right over here. And when you say you material, that, that, what, what kind of material is going into the one pot? So the one pot reactor is where we mix lithium and nickel and manganese and cobalt or lithium and iron and phosphorus to make the uh, to make the cathode material. So everything goes into the one pot reactor to create a uh, uh, basically a slurry of all the all the ingredients that make up a cathode material. Then we dry that slurry uh, into a dried powder and then cook it in the furnace. It's in the furnace where the final crystals form uh, that enable uh, the material to become functional in the lithium ion battery. All right. So you're basically standing in a kitchen for lithium ion batteries. Yeah, yeah, essentially. This is our uh, laboratory in Burnaby. We have much larger versions of the things I just showed you um, right. in our Con Condiac facility just outside of Montreal, roughly 150 times the size of what you see here. So it's always nice that you believe in it and I believe in it, but today you announced a press release with a major company that also believes in your technology, and that is Warley. Worley trades on the Australian Stock Exchange and is a massive engineering company. What did you agree with them? So uh, Worley and, and Nano One have got to know each other over the last couple of years. And um, we basically have the same uh, philosophy that we cannot scale cathode materials worldwide without fixing some of the fundamental issues. Of course, you got to drive down costs. And that's, a, that's, a, that's the key and most important part of this. But we also have to eliminate all the, all the wastewater and eliminate all the the, uh, the sulfate waste streams and the byproducts because these don't scale readily uh, at very large volumes. They worked fine and, and, and did in the 90s and the early 2000s when volumes were relatively small. But as we get into uh, hundreds of thousands and millions and tens of millions of tons, these uh, side effects become, uh, become just too much for the West to handle. So uh, really to be able to scale in North America, to be able to scale in uh, in uh, in Europe or or, or even in, in many parts of Asia, you have to solve these problems. And so Worley and Nano One came together on the belief that we could build make cathode materials more effectively, and we could also solve the scaling problem. Which is once you've done this, once you've brought the technology to people, you have to be able to deploy it and to deploy it rapidly. And right. in many plants all at once around the world, you need a big engineering plan. You need to have done all the engineering work up front, so that you're not custom engineering every plant. You've got a, you basically got a kernel of engineering that's already done. It's what we call our CAM uh, package. And that includes the Nano One process uh, that you've just seen on video here. But it also includes the flow sheets and the engineering design package and the, uh, the process, all the, all the process flow diagrams uh, and, and key pieces of equipment. And that forms really the kernel of the one pop process. And what we're doing with Worley, developing that, marketing it selling the CAM package to potential uh, producers of cathode and, materials. And, and it's that's Worley what that's doing the selling, do. selling, sorry, it's Worley that's doing the selling for you under this agreement, right? Uh, primarily, it's a collaborative effort, all of it. Of course, they have a much bigger uh, sales team than we do. Uh, we bring potential clients to the table, so do they. Uh, we're really combining our efforts on all fronts. But uh, yeah, yeah, they have a much bigger sales team and have a much bigger outreach around the world as well. So, you know, a big part of this is look, together we can do this much faster. We can sell more licenses uh, together much more than Nano One can on its own. And that's the dream here is that, uh, you know, one plus one equals three, essentially. Uh, right. We can do a much better job together than we can on our own. You know, for a science shop, Dan, your math is kind of poor, but I understand what yeah. you're saying. Now, you hold numerous, or you, Nano One, holds numerous patents. Uh, you've been in this business a very long time, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so I, I, myself, I've been at it for a dozen years, but my team in Quebec, uh, led by uh, Denis Geoffroy, uh, have been doing this since 2002. They made the first ton of a sellable LFP in 2005. 
and and then went on to build uh, the first sort of one of the very first LFP cathode plants. They changed technologies after being acquired in 2000, uh, 2000 kind of seven, 11, seven, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11 time frame. And then and and then with Nano One coming in, we change technology again. Uh, these guys have have commercialized. This is their third technology that they've commercialized, scaled, and and uh, and brought up to uh, brought up to a manufacturing standard. And when we walked in there, we were able to decommission all the wastewater and all the all the sulfate uh, uh, waste handling chemical equipment because we don't have any of that problem, and uh, it makes the uh, Makes the, the, the footprint much more compact, use less energy, and of course, uh, lower capex and operating uh, costs as well. So that's really what is driving the the underlying value of the Nano One One Pot process, and what brought Rorley to the table. Uh, obviously, combining their engineering know how with our technology, we think we can bring a superior solution to the market that will drive uh, a considerably faster adoption uh, than doing it in some in a kind of a manual bespoke fashion uh, with uh, more custom, custom any, engineering practices. Any collaboration has an impact on the balance sheet at first because it, it drains some resources that you're directing towards the collaboration, but then it comes back into the PL. When do you think this will have an impact on your PL? It's a great question. So um, uh, yes, we're both uh, obviously investing in uh, in the in the collaboration in the alliance. Uh, we're already putting a bunch of engineering time in. We, of course, have invested tremendously up front, but we will continue to invest in the process uh, going into this collaboration. Um, the uh, the concept, of course, is that we end up selling licenses and multiple plants. Uh, it will take you know, some, uh, you know, it will be measured in the in the matter of uh, six months, a year, until we have the sort of the engineering design package together. And of course, in parallel to that, Nano One is also going out and testing and evaluating the materials and trying to bring the offtake in. That will then drive uh, the adoption of the technology and drive investment decisions uh, to build a plant, which uh, then uh, will be able to uh, monetize with uh, with Worley in the first plant, and then ultimately in many more plants, uh, hopefully in parallel uh, and such moving forward. Can't give you an exact time when that's going to happen, but uh, we we hope uh, within the next uh, year or so to have the engineering design package in place, and we're working hard to get the offtake in place this year. That will drive expansion and Na Nano One's and, and licensing of these technology. Yeah, Nano One's always been an interesting company. It currently is an interesting company, and no doubt it will continue to be an interesting company going forward. I thank you for your time today. Trades as N A N O on the big board T S X T M X T S T M X. Right? They like to call it these days. Yes. Yeah, the T M X. Uh, Dan Blondell, CEO, thank you very much for your time, sir. Peter, it's uh, most, a big pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your attention, and uh, best of day to you. Best of news, Peter Clausey signing off. Have a great day.